Every day we have plenty of energy coming from outside of our planet, which is sunlight. So why don't we use it? Let's take a look at the next video about solar electric panels and some of the uses for that energy. Did you know the amount of energy from the sun is 1,000 times greater than the world energy consumption? But how do you use solar energy other than tanning yourself on the beach? The Mishkan Nature House knows how to use it. The house was built at the Leslie Science Center in Ann Arbor to teach area children environmentally friendly lifestyles. On its roof, there are two dark square objects lit by the sun, photovoltaic arrays, generally known as solar panels. Panels on the right side are an amorphous silicon panel, thin coating of silicon, which is, comes from sand, same kind of material that's used in computer chips. Other array is a cadmium telluride panel. Cadmium is a relatively hazardous material to work with, and so the company actually has a, the ability to take the panels back at the end of their life and reuse all the materials. The panels produce 4,000 watts of electricity on sunny days and 500 to 1,000 watts on cloudy days. In summertime, they can generate 100% of the electricity that the building needs. In wintertime, 50% of the electricity is from the panels. But what happens to the electricity when the building isn't using it? The Nature House has a battery system to store the electricity for later use, but it isn't the most ideal device because of its short lifespan Instead, presently, most of these systems are interconnected with a utility system called grid tide array system. With a grid tide system, the direct current comes down from the panels and goes through an inverter, converts it to electricity, into AC electricity, that matches the electricity on the grid. From there, it is either used in the home or it runs a, through a meter and out into the utility grid and your next door neighbor ends up using it. An average solar panel's lifespan is about 25 years, usually warranted by its manufacturer. The panel and its installation cost about twice as much as 25 years' worth of electricity bills at the current rate. However, if the carbon tax comes into effect, buying solar panels may even be cheaper than your utility bills. I do believe the costs will go down in the future. There's a huge demand in Europe because the European governments are offering great incentives. All of the manufacturers are increasing their capacity. As that capacity increases, the demand goes down, then the prices will also come down. So far, not very many roofs would hold the weight of panels' high prices. However, you may get some help to buy the panels. Dave Strensky, a volunteer for the Ypsilanti Food Co-op, installed four solar panels on the roof of the co-op building. So in 2005, we found that there was a grant available from the state for demonstration solar power. We wrote for a grant and we got the $6,000 uh, from the state of Michigan and we used that money to uh, buy these four panels and an inverter and put this system up. So are you now thinking of installing a solar panel on your roof? It will surely make you happy when skies are gray.